Hi, I'm Jonathan here with Ignite and in this video we're going to be looking at the key concepts in Pan's Labyrinth, the text that is on the Reimagined Worlds elective for Extension 1 English. Now, what's important is that we think about some of the rubric terms with respect to reimagined worlds. I think some of the key terms here to keep in mind are the way the rubric encourages you to look at texts that challenge or confirm the known, question the unknown, and explore the possibilities of different realities. What these texts are also allegedly supposed to do is push the boundaries of imagination. So we just want to keep those terms in mind the known, the unknown, different realities and imagination when we look at some of these specific conceptual undercurrents of Pan's Labyrinth. The first theme that we might be interested in with Pan's Labyrinth is how Del Toro communicates this clash between the innocence of youth and the brutal world weariness of maturity. It's been said that your youth, your childhood ends when you stop being happy and start remembering when you used to be. And I think the film explores that quite morbid but also significant, emotionally important transition between youth and maturity. Fantasy and reality become separate entities for Ophelia, who's the protagonist of Pan's Labyrinth. And while she perceives her fantasy world to be just as real as Franco's Spain, this sort of oppressive, world-weary, brutal world that she inhabits in reality, she no longer sees the world that she really experiences as idyllic. And that's one of those crucial cogs that enables the transition from the sort of doe-eyed innocence of youth and the acknowledgement that reality is not something that you can escape from and is actually something that's quite brutal and oppressive. Ophelia witnesses firsthand the worst that humans are capable of and the worst that humans can suffer, both with her stepfather, the worst that humans are capable of, this embodiment of fascism, and also the suffering of her mother with childbirth. And that stops her childhood. It provides a very blunt full stop to her youthful innocence and becomes the impetus for this movement into a world-weary maturity where fantasy and reality are no longer one and the same. She needs to seek out a fantastical world to help her through the brutal reality that she inhabits. She can no longer experience reality as anything idealised. Moving on, and on a similar note, the film explores this timeless struggle against violent paternalism. And this occurs on two different levels with the film. On one hand, we see it in a very domestic sense with Ophelia's stepfather, this stranglehold of paternalism that he holds over the family unit and over Ophelia, but also on a political level with respect to the phalangists in Franco's Spain and the oppression of resistance fighters. What Del Toro illustrates is the way in which power imbalances from the external political world can manifest within the domestic space. And so these different worlds, these different realities end up colliding and the known violence of patriarchy and fascism becomes known within the domestic space. Domesticity is no longer a space in which you can escape the violence of reality. And so where we eventually get from Del Toro's standpoint is an insight into the utility of imagination. Because innocence and youth can no longer be exercised within the real world because it's so consumed by violent patriarchy, inequality and fascistic ideology, there needs to be a new reality, a previously unknown world that is constructed to allow people to escape the violent ramifications of their world and to try and put a halt to this accelerated 
loss of innocence. And so in the hyper-real world that we live in now, where fiction and reality are increasingly blurred, what Del Toro asks us to imagine is whether these imagined intangible spaces are any less real or any less important to our identity and our self-actualization as reality. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more videos about Pan's Labyrinth. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you do like the content, subscribe to our channel and we'll have more videos coming your way. That's right guys, thanks for watching and please make sure you check out our online resource database. We've had a team of state rank achievers and heads of English put these together for you, covering everything from essay structures and examples all the way through to craft of writing and comprehension skills. So check them out at ignitehse.com.au and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.